Got another question for the Synoptic Questions playlist. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So first thing I'm going to do is work out a value for the enthalpy change of neutralization from the data. It's obviously a calorimetry experiment. So the first thing we'll do is work out the energy released by the reaction. So we do that by using the Q equals MC delta T equation. So the M is the mass of solution. So that's going to be 100 because we used 50 cm cubed of each of the chemicals. Specific heat capacity of the solution is same as that of water, so 4.18. The delta T, the temperature rise, was 5 degrees C. So that's coming out at 2090 joules. We're going to put that into kilojoules because obviously our final answer needs to be in kilojoules per mole. There's the equation for the reaction that's taking place. We were told that the sodium hydroxide's in excess. So we're going to calculate the moles of acid involved in the reaction. So that's just going to be concentration times volume. Concentration was 0.4 moles per decimeter cubed. 50 cm cubed was used, but obviously it's got to be in decimeters cubed, so 0.05. So that many moles of acid were used. Enthalpy change of neutralization, remember, is all about the enthalpy change per mole of water formed. So we need to work out how many moles of H2O formed. It's obviously going to be double the moles of acid. So the enthalpy change of neutralization is the kilojoules divided by the moles. And remember, it's an exothermic reaction. Temperature went up by 5 degrees C, so we need a minus sign. So it's minus 52.3 kilojoules per mole. So moving on to the next part, which kind of focuses on equilibrium. So the first thing we're asked, what technique could be used to determine the equilibrium amount of succinic acid? So obviously to calculate the amount of that, we would do a titration. Next thing I've got to do is write the equation for the equilibrium. So you'll notice I've written up a little reminder that Kc is a measure of the equilibrium concentrations of the products divided by the reactants. So these two chemicals here are the products of the reaction. These two chemicals here are the reactants. And just remember that if we've got any powers, they are the, the stoichiometric numbers in the balanced equation. So the equilibrium reaction looks like that. So moving on to the skeletal formula for the ester. So there's its structural formula. So there's the skeletal formula, just quickly explain it. So if you think about what's inside the bracket, it's basically CH2, C double bond O, single bond O, CH2, CH3, and there's the other one there. Next part's a little bit tricky. So usually we would use equilibrium concentrations to calculate Kc, but it's saying, well, why can you use this expression, which just has the moles in? It's down to the fact that you've got the same powers, top and bottom, in the Kc expression. So essentially, all the V terms are gonna cancel out. So when you're turning your moles into concentration, moles over volume, because we've got the same powers, top and bottom, all the Vs will cancel. So finishing off with the calculation for Kc, I don't think there's enough room here, so I'll just go onto a clean page now. So as the equation for the equilibrium we wrote a few moments ago, this is an ice calculation, initial change equilibrium. So first thing we've done is put in the number of moles initially of the acid and the alcohol. Obviously we wouldn't have any ester or water initially. We were also told that at equilibrium, 0.02 moles of acid were left. So what we can do now is work out the change in moles for the acid. So it's obviously dropped by 0.03. Now, if you look at the mole ratio, so 1 to 2 ratio, so this is going to drop by 0 0.06, which means that at equilibrium, there would be 0 0.09 moles left. So moving on to the change in the products, so the ester to acid ratio is 1 to 1, so this is going to go up by 0 0.03. And the ratio of acid to water is 1 to 2, so the water is going to increase by double 0.03, so 0.06. So obviously at equilibrium, you're going to have 0.03 moles of the ester and you'll have 0.06 moles of the water. So we sub the mole values into this Kc expression. Remember, we've said it's okay to use moles in this case because of the way the powers work in the expression. 
just remember that you need to square the H2O and the alcohol. So the value for KC is 0 0.667. There's no units for this because obviously the moles units will just cancel top and bottom again because the powers are the same.